Assalamualaikum guys Brolah TV di sini Ok jangan lupa like, share dan subscribe channel ni ya Kerana subscribe itu percuma je Tak kena bayar Sudah? Ok terima kasih Dalam 100 minit kat rumah saya Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam ceria, salam bahagia semua Selamat datang lagi sekali ya kita ke udara dan di FB Live Persatuan Pengguna Islam Malaysia Official. Jadi pada kali ini kita uh, membawa isu yang sangat uh, signifikan, isu yang sangat mustahak dan sangat penting untuk kita semua-semua ambil tahu, ambil ambil dengar, ya, pakat-pakat kita share FB Live kita ni pastikan semua rakyat seluruhnya uh, mengetahui live pada hari ini kerana live pada hari ini sangat penting kerana kita Uh, uh, akan uh, terus membawa sahabat kita berkeudara direct daripada Palestin untuk mengetahui uh, situasi yang berada di Palestin pada masa kini. Untuk kita itu kita mulakan program kita dengan umul kitab Al-Fatihah. Amin, 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 ya rabbal alamin Baik, sebelum kita mulakan bicara Kita perkenalkan dulu bersama kita Toki Ketua Aktivis Persatuan Pengguna Islam Malaysia Saya sendiri Cikgu Izham Ya, uh, ini Cikgu punya mas Jangan cakap Cikgu tak pakai mas Okey, Cikgu pakai mas tapi nak cakap Cikgu buka lah Nanti Cikgu punya exhaust jadi sempur Macam tu Okey, dan bersama kita juga Uh, hari ini adalah Tuan Haji Zulkifli Wahijan Presiden Muslim Camp Malaysia Apa khabar Abang Haji? Alhamdulillah sihat Tuan Sihat no? Bizam. Alhamdulillah Macam tu ha. uh, Kita hari-hari ya -hari, Kita kita ke udara Boleh kata setiap hari kita ke udara Membawa pelbagai isu Tapi hari ini Kita membawa anda sekalian bersama-sama kita uh, Adalah Tuan Abu Aish An-Najjar Direct daripada Palestine, pengurusi Muslim ke Malaysia yang sekarang berada di Palestin. Apa khabar, uh, Mr. Abu? Baik, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin. Bagus, bagus. Bagus, Alhamdulillah. Okey, baik. Cikgu uh, teruskan uh, ruang bicara kita untuk uh, kerana ramai menunggu daripada tadi lagi. Uh, di dalam uh, ruang bicara ini, uh, 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 dalam uh, program kita ini. Uh, kita teruskan dengan mengajukan uh, situasi semasa dan persoalan kepada Encik Abu. Are you ready, Mr. Abu? Yes, I'm ready. I'm always Alhamdulillah. ready. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Tragedi di Palestin uh, banyak rumah mereka dibom, mereka hilang tempat tinggal, anak-anak kecil dan wanita terus menjadi mangsa, ramai hilang keluarga, no, ada yang mengalami macam-macam uh, trauma, kita di Malaysia dan seluruh dunia sebenarnya sedih dan sakit hati melihat saudara Islam kita diperlakukan sebegitu. You know, can you imagine less than 24 hours the ceasefire has been violated by the Israelis? Question to ourselves all in Malaysia. Has the situation reached the crisis level? Mr. Abu Aish, can you tell us the latest developments on the current situation especially regarding the issue of invasion and people's safety over there. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. First of all, I'd like to thank you very much for uh, this uh, very important uh, event. Um, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Per Satwan Pinguna Islam Malaysia and also Muslim Care Malaysia for organizing uh, such a very a good event. And before I start talking, inshallah, I'd like to express my condolences to the families of the martyrs and to wish, to wish a speedy recovery for the wounded one. Also, uh, since I'm talking on behalf of the Palestinians in, in the Gaza Strip here, I'd like to uh, express our thanks and gratitude to the Malaysian government and to all our brothers and sisters all over Malaysia. You have been always a very strong support for uh, the Palestinians. I'd like also to give special thanks to the Malaysian 
to the Malaysian Prime Minister, uh, His Excellency uh, Tan Siri Datu Haji Muhyiddin bin Muhammad, as well as the special envoy of the Prime Minister to the Middle East, Tuan Goro uh, Haji Abdul Hadi Awang, and to every Malaysian brothers and sisters everywhere. Excuse me, I need to turn off my mobile because people are keeping or keep calling me. So, okay, now inshallah, it's much better. So regarding the current situation, uh, I've heard you talking about uh, whether the level in the Gaza Strip has reached uh, the level of a crisis or not. Gaza has been living in very complicated layers of a crisis a long time ago. Gaza has been under a very suffocating siege for more than 16 years now. And the situation is unbearable. As if the very complicated uh, situation was not enough, and as if coronavirus wasn't enough to add more and more for the, to, to the Palestinian hardships and the trouble, the Zionist entity, and as... Uh, their nature, their evil nature and barbaric nature is shown every time they chose Ramadan, last Ramadan to ruin the blessings of Ramadan and also they chose Eid al-Fitr al-Mubarak and I'd like also to wish you all uh, Salamat Hari Raya I know it's, it's late but it's still because we have just finished the, the war on Gaza. They have chosen this very particular time of joy and happiness to launch their attack on uh, the Gaza Strip. So far, 253 people were murdered. The majority of them are children and women. And since I work at the Ministry of Education and Higher Education, I'd like to tell you that 77 of the Palestinians who were killed during uh, the last aggression against Gaza are from the students. There are around 2,000 people who were uh, wounded, and there are more than 16,000 uh, houses were either totally or partially uh, destroyed. 120,000 people, 120,000 people were displaced, were obliged and forced to leave their houses due to the huge bombardment everywhere. 75 governmental institutions were totally destroyed, 47 media institutions and economic facilities were also destroyed. They intentionally attacked the uh, media offices because they don't want anybody to know what is happening inside uh, the houses. And also 300 and three residential towers were totally destroyed. And you know what I mean by towers? Condominiums. You just imagine if, God forbid, 300 and three condominiums were destroyed somewhere. Each condominium is almost a whole neighborhood because roughly 300 people live in, in, in such buildings. Um, uh, the huge uh, damage cannot be imagined. It is unimaginable and it is unprecedented. You can find destruction everywhere inside the Gaza Strip. They have brought the uh, Gaza Strip to the, brought it back to the Stone Age. Um, despite the too much uh, destruction and the too much pain, and the many uh, martyrs, alhamdulillah, the Palestinians are steadfast. And we have caused them pain as they have caused us pain. As Allah Azzawajal says in the whole Quran, in takunu ta'lamuna fa innahum ya'lamuna kama ta'lamun wa tarjuna min Allahi ma la rajun. The situation right now is extremely difficult, but alhamdulillah, by the help of Allah Azzawajal and by the help of you, Dear brothers in PPIM and also in Muslim Care Malaysia and other NGOs, we are very grateful to you, very thankful to you because of the continuous support you have sent and which we have received. Yesterday, I myself was distributing aid 
on behalf of PPIM and Muslim Care Malaysia. By your donations, by your help, alhamdulillah, the situation is alleviated. And we have managed to ease a little bit of the difficulties that are found everywhere here in the Gaza Strip. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything you want to say? Yeah. Um, Assalamu alaikum, brother. And, and all the Palestinian people who are who might be um, online or aware that we are online. First of all, our our sympathy and I would say condolences to uh, those people who may have been uh, bereaved of uh, their family and whatever you know. But uh, uh, in spite of that, I think. Um, uh, while giving, while we are sympathetic to uh, to the to whatever happened, at the same time, I think um, um, God loves you probably uh, more than us. Yeah, because, uh, I, I think uh, you are uh, in a way, in a way, um, you are exposed to a situation that will uh, give you more opportunity for um for 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 shahid and for you to go through the test that will give you the uh um the opportunity you know to 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 uh get the best uh, of um reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um what they call it um here in in in, in malaysia you know we have uh spoken among ourselves discussed among ourselves um that i think um first of all what happened i think we must um fight because uh, as a muslim i think we have got to protect our dignity our family our properties and whatever and this gives opportunity for the rest also to share the reward that allah will give to those people who are who will uh, cooperate and work together to protect ourselves against the evil and against the aggression of our enemies so um uh, in, in in a way i think uh, uh, compared to people anywhere else i think you are the, the 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 group that are solidly fighting continuously and i think at least the compromise in as far as uh, the poly principles are concerned is clearly seen and uh, um if we compare to 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 the, the to the muslim in the other part of the world we may not see this and we may have been deprived of the opportunity to start, to continuously uh, um, see you know the virtues behind uh, the, the struggle that you're going through you know and uh, uh, and uh, we are always uh, supportive and that also gives us opportunity to to render some small assistance you know the only thing that we we cannot do probably at the moment is to join you on the ground but uh, i think the little that we can do that that, that we have been doing as mission we have been giving um, some of this token thing you know token help to you whenever possible but i think that is also something that we realize now uh, at least we see china those one of the uh, uh, world forces that are giving the support and i think uh, uh, from what we see from uh, the support from all over the world, Europe and America, and everywhere else, people are realizing, you know, the uh, atrocities that are being um, uh, done by the the Jews. But that is something that we all know, uh, you know. And um, I I think um, uh, at least the the support is more uh, clear uh, now compared to those uh, maybe years before. Uh, but of course, the media, the media that are mostly owned or um, controlled by the by the Zionists are, of course, doing their part. But that is the function of the enemy for us to get to to heaven. I think uh, at least you know that gives us a chance. You know, we are not belittling your your agony, but I think uh, looking from the other perspective, I think uh, we are. Uh, the, the rest of the world, you know, should look at this situation as something that could become the catalyst for us to realize, to do something um, uh, continuously and or before it gets to us as well, to protect ourselves. And I think uh, it's a clear thing. Um, 
this is uh, this is happening because we have our fair share of weakness especially in the other part of the muslim world you know um ex ex excluded uh, of course the palestinian they are fighting they keep fighting but i think the spirit of the palestinian must be shared by all by muslim all over the world so that you know we know we must be prepared for all uh, the eventualities that could happen with the agenda that is being uh, uh, practiced or promoted by the Zionists and their and their what they call it their uh, supporters and whoever that are with them and um, and uh, to look at things I think uh, if you were to compare I think uh, uh, probably uh, Palestine is under siege but probably also that is the only muslim world that are fighting hard enough as op as opposed to the rest because unknowingly at times i think we are just follow we are just following their agenda you know whether it's through culture through whatever thing that we see we don't fight and and most of the time we become weaker and when we become weak we become we we invite um invasion that is the law of nature i think uh, a tiger will will eat a deer you know as opposed to deer eating tiger you know so this is something that i think um, maybe a small um, uh, sharing of what we we see you know that is happening around us and we we want to do something as well but i think i think a lesson for all of us muslim here and people who love peace is that we cannot um, allow ourselves to 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 be weak and mostly you know and we are weakened by uh the infighting in in, in our quran uh, it says in many verses you know um uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned us against the fighting infighting and the misunderstanding because that will make us weak and we uh, will not be respected anymore as what we see now so this is um, uh, probably a chapter for us all Muslim to realize what to be done, what next to be done. And we need to strengthen ourselves. We need to learn from the Hamas brothers, I think. Um, uh, and, and, and mostly it is also uh, not just looking from the strength, the military strength and whatever, but I think we need to strengthen the Muslim. The most important thing is the heart of Muslim because uh, it's okay if we die because that's what we are looking for but if we are not taught like that then we 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 will be like the rest and or some some of us that are afraid to die or to sacrifice against uh, whatever uh, challenges that are out there so um in a small way we are trying to do our part like um uh, the campaign to raise funds you know the campaign to uh, to do boycotts because I think uh, as far as the Jewish are concerned, they are supported by many companies. And when, what we are trying to do here is to um, to weaken or to, to dilute the support to uh, that are given to them by uh, attacking or by boycotting the companies that are supporting the Jewish movements. You know, I think like Bulldozer or Volvo or whatever, you know, but uh, our boycott that we have started, or we, we have restarted uh, recently, restarted the campaign is to boycott Coca Cola. I, I don't know whether I heard in Palestine there are Coke factory, and 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 I was also uh, told that some of these uh, uh, like uh, Saudi and whatever uh, uh, the the uh, Middle East uh, uh, countries they are staunch supporters of uh, Coca Cola because they. They, they drink a lot of Coca-Cola and the American armies that are in uh, Saudi uh, serve Coke that are paid by the, the, the Saudi government, you know, things like that. So I think we have got to go back to our focus where to boycott, what to boycott and how to boycott. Because we are weak, but being weak doesn't mean that we cannot fight. Maybe, you know, a dust, dust gets into the ice is pretty painful. So I think we need to think, to strategize, and to to make it happen. And I think if we have, uh, we, we 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 in our prayers and whatever that we can do, we go back to getting together, getting the barakah of um, uh, working together among Muslim and and uh, to go for uh, the shahid, you know, uh, 
the jihad that may be economic jihad first round here for us in Malaysia but of course uh, eventually we're looking at a uh, Palestine in in uh, in the final analysis so uh, our campaign alhamdulillah has been very successful and we have uh, prices of coca cola in Malaysia also has has dropped and um, we have uh, pretty good support but i think this campaign will need to go worldwide by the time it goes worldwide then we it will make a lot of statement so we hope you know that thing you know we are uh, doing continuously to ensure that uh, uh, we get what we want to do uh, by uh, killing the support of the jewish uh, of the zionist uh, government and when that happens this company will uh, will not eventually you know will not support because of their fear of their economic uh, uh, destruction eventually we have done we have done many cases of boycott and alhamdulillah in the past you know uh, it has given quite a bit of impact so we hope this thing to work together with all our friends and our our uh, fighters out there inshallah jazakallah khair thank you very much for this very insightful uh, talk um akhi uh, i'll try to comment on what you have said mashallah what you have said is very brilliant mashallah uh, you have covered many, many important uh, points. Uh, but I'll start from the, the point that you have said, despite the fact that we are weak, we are not weak at all. Yeah. We are not weak. Allah Azza wa has described our ummah as kuntum khayra ummatin You are the yeah. best nation. And every single individual has too much potential. But the problem, we need to know, every one of us needs to know his or her potential. And we need to know unite we need to work united because yeah. individual efforts sometimes are not that uh, fruitful um, uh, alhamdulillah Rabbi, I mean, you, you were talking about us that we are يعني, uh, luckier or, or Allah Azza wa Jal loves us more than than other people to be honest uh, we we do believe that we are equal like anybody else but Allah Azza wa Jal has said about those people who uh, are chosen by him subhanahu wa ta'ala shuhada he has said in the Holy Quran, Allah chooses from among you the best of the best. So the best people who are, according to, according to Allah Azza wa Jalla, are the shuhada. And alhamdulillah, I mean, we are offering every day shuhada. And Allah yeah. Azza wa Jal has said also uh, about uh, the whole uh, Palestinians or the whole living. He said in an authentic hadith on the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our Prophet he doesn't say anything from his own. It is a revelation. He has said, Sham, Al Quds, Jerusalem, Bait al Maqdis is the best place or the best part of my land. And I send the best of people to it. It's not only a souk means I push. Or send people there. And this includes you, dear brothers and sisters, Haji Dhul and our brothers in PPIM, because I believe you have visited Gaza and visited Palestine before. So these people are among the best uh, people. And also, our Prophet said in an authentic hadith, Man magaza, wa man fi ahli Anyone who takes care of the widow and the orphans someone who strives in the path of Allah Azza wa Jal will be rewarded exactly like him. Like you and your brothers and sisters, you have donated generously for the sake of the many widows and orphans in, in Palestine. Allah says on, on, the, on the time of Muhammad Sallallahu when he uh, said in the very well-known scientific hadith, لا تزال طائفة من أمتي ظاهرين على الحق لا يضرهم من خلفهم a group of people from my ummah will always remain triumphant on the right path and continue to be like this against their opponents. He who deserts them shall not be able to do them any harm. And they will remain in this position until Allah's command is executed, until the wa'ad of al-akhirah. Dear brothers and, and sisters, uh, every one of us can have the same importance uh, any Palestinian brother or sister has. Allah says 
Your brothers and sisters, you made their souls, their blood, their property, their uh, safety, their security. They did not donate everything, the Palestinians. And you donate some of your do it, some of your money, of the many uh, orphans and, and widows. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, the people who are chosen as martyrs will be given the opportunity to ask for forgiveness for activity of their family members. Alhamdulillah, we have tens of thousands and maybe hundreds of thousands. We can multiply them by 72. So we have more people who can be forgiven by Allah Azza wa Jalla than the number, the actual number of the Palestinian people. So those people who are going to, or who help the Palestinians also will get the opportunity to be forgiven by any shaheed who ask for forgiveness of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Every one of us has the potential uh, because I, I told you, Akhi, I need to leave early because I, I have a tour with the Palestinian uh, journalist. I need to talk about something. Maybe, maybe you have it in the questions that uh, you have. But uh, one more important thing I'd like to comment on the boycott campaign. This is very good, very important. We need to boycott all the Zionist products that we know uh, about them that they are being produced by Zionists or uh, those whom we know that they are used by the Zionists. And here I would like PPIM to coordinate with BDS Malaysia. By the way, the chairman. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah the chairman of, of BDS Malaysia is my supervisor. In my PhD uh, study in the University of Malaya, Professor Nazar oh. Ismail. I yeah, wish yeah. if you I wish if you coordinate with them because they are doing a wonderful job. And mainly they target HP, Eulet Packer, yeah. and yeah. also Puma. Puma. Because we, we want we want to concentrate our efforts yeah. yes. in one or two companies so that we can shall either topple them or they surrender. They say Khalas, no more support yeah. for yeah. the Zionists. This is very important. Number two, uh, I'd like to talk about the, the recent lies being spread all over the world, mainly in Malaysia, about people who are acting like guard dogs for the Zionists. Uh, they have started to uh, fabricate a news, and just for one reason, or for one main reason, to question the credibility of Malaysian NGOs like you and Malaysian and Palestinian NGOs here in the Gaza Strip. They keep saying that the donations being yeah. sent to Gaza never reach the Gaza Strip. And this is a very big lie. The main uh, duty and role of the Zionist entity is to cut off any donations and any support coming from abroad. Because if some Palestinian wishes to defend the Muslim Aqsa, he will think about the fate of his family, about the fate of his wife who's going to be a widow, about the fate of his sons and daughters who are going to be orphans, who's going to take care of them if nobody is going to send any kind of support to them. So if the Zionists manage to cut off all these kinds of support, the Palestinians will surrender. We are telling you, and everybody who donates for the sake of Palestine and the Gaza Strip. Whenever you put the money in, in the hand of PPIM, in the hand of Muslim Care Malaysia, the money fall in the hand of Allah Azza wa Jal, and you are khalas, uh, rewarded by Allah. You will get the reward. And we guarantee you, I've, I've sent you just videos, Wallahi, yesterday we kept distributing your own money and your own donations still after Aisha. In almost complete darkness, you will see this. You will, you will see the video. The videos I've already sent them, but they are not edited yet. So, inshallah, shortly you you will see them, and you can uh, inshallah let people watch watch them. So there are some some mata mata. There are some collaborators with the Jews. I know one of them in particular in Malaysia, and he's right now spreading the news because they want. Gaza to be brought to its to surrender. He wants. He wants. Okay. Uh, oh.
He was under house arrest while he was here and he's spreading these lies now. This is very important. Another thing, I'd like to talk about what is needed from our brothers and sisters in Malaysia yeah. and in the whole world. Number one, Allah says in the Holy Quran, Unity. Unity yeah. is very important. Alhamdulillah, we are very Despite the many killings, we are very strong. Despite the too much loss, despite the destruction, the damage, everything, Alhamdulillah, we have given a promise to Allah Azza wa and our Ummah that we will never fail you. We are here representing you to defend the Masjid Al-Aqsa Mubarak, and we will continue this till I get victory or be chosen by Allah Azza wa Jal as Mubarak. Akhi, Allah says, this is very important. Allah says in the whole Quran, in, in uh, Surah Ali Imran, verse number 157. وَلَئِنْ قُتِلْتُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَوْ مُتْتُمْ لَمَغْفِرَةٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَرَحْمَةٌ خَيْرٌ مِّمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ If you are killed or if you die uh, in the case or in the cause of Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, you will get a maghfira, a forgiveness and mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah says in the next ayah, وَلَئِنْ مُتْتُمْ أَوْ قُتِلْتُمْ إِلَى اللَّهِ تَحْشَرُونَ And if you die, or if you are killed, you will be all sent together to Allah and Allah Azza wa Jal is going to ask us about what we have done. Uh, again, they are calling. Allah says in the Holy Quran in Surah Maryam, verse number 95, Every one of us is going to face Allah Azza wa Jal individually. This is very important, Akhi. We need to be prepared. Allah will ask us about what we have done for the sake of Bayt al-Maqdis. So we need unity and we need awareness. We need awareness. We need to educate people. I have been asked many times by brothers in Malaysia and Indonesia, is it true that the Turkish army and the Indonesian army and the Malaysian army are already in Al-Quds? People think it, it, it is that easy. So we need to educate people and to raise awareness. And here I suggest, I suggest, our brothers in Muslim Care Malaysia and in PPIM, since you have a very strong influence and a very strong position inside uh, your uh, country in Malaysia, we need to start to implement a twinning program between universities in Gaza and, Gaza and universities in Malaysia, schools in Gaza and university, uh, schools in Malaysia, so that people can talk to each other. Yeah. Awareness is very, very important. And also, we need you as Malaysian uh, citizens who have the ability to vote, you have, you have already voted and it's your members of parliament. We need you to have some kind of pressure on them so that the, the, the Malaysian government, and here again we salute the Malaysian government, the stances were wonderful, very strong, and very clear that Malaysia stands by Palestine till the liberation of the Baptist until we gain or our rights. We want Malaysia also to have a pressure on the Security Council and the United Nations to uh, do something to get the Zionists and any future uh, massacres. We want also our brothers and sisters to um, uh, join the uh, BDS, BDS campaign. We want every one of us to be sure about this or her own uh, individual potential. Very important, something which is very important, Afi. Some people want to confront her. This is extremely difficult. I mean, military jihad. But every one of us has his weapons in his hands. We have our fingers. We keep what right he says. We can spread uh, news. So everyone has his or her own individual task and duty for Gaza. Our students also have a very heavy burden on their shoulders. We need them to excel, to exert more effort so that they would, inshallah, gain the best knowledge provided by the, the, the Malaysian universities so they, they can serve their own in their own, also to serve uh, Palestine. Every one of us has his own potential. One very important thing, I think, 
regarding the people who are asking what about the leader, what about the, uh, the, the kings, what about the uh, rulers, where are they from Palestine? Allah is not going to ask us when we die why the Arab. Ask every one of us. The Gangwon line. So we need to prepare ourselves for, for such a thing. Again, awareness is very important. We need you to our own tongues, our own representatives, our own. Again, we say Jatan Trimakade, we say Trimakade. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much. Now, please accept my apologies because the deputy minister is calling me. I have to go, and inshallah, we will be having more, inshallah. Very fruitful events like this. Inshallah. When Palestinians see such events, they feel that they are not alone anymore. So, Jazakumullah khaira. Barakallah. Definitely, you are not alone. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Ya Allah. Bayak, inshallah. Tuan Haji, kita melihat ya, Muslim Care ini merupakan satu usaha platform bantuan yang antara yang sangat dikenali di Malaysia ini. So bagaimana Tuan Haji melihat uh, usaha sama bersama dengan BPIM? Assalamualaikum, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih kepada uh, pihak BPIM, Tuan Semaja, Sikit Rizham, uh, Datuk Nazim ataupun Tok Ki. Yang agak bias yang, okay, habis pun dah lift tak apa. Because ada uh, many important things that he has to handle. Yeah, the press. Ya, yeah, okay. Uh, sebelum saya start tu, sebenarnya kita nak tengok uh, kesatuan ummah ni. Sebenarnya kesatuan ummah sangat penting. Kalau kita tengok, penduduk Islam ada hampir 2 bilion dalam dunia ni. Dan Yahudi sekali 12 juta saja. Kalau lawan lah, kalau bertumbuk ataupun tak kita langgar, satu-satu memang boleh tumbang dia tapi ni lah, kan. Hmm. Tapi tak jadi kita, tak apa. Sebab itu ada yang disebut. Di akhir zaman bagaimana uh, orang yang umat Islam macam orang lapar di hidangan nak makan. Jadi sahabat yang tanya adakah masa itu orang Islam sedikit bahkan ramai. 2 bilion dalam 17 juta. Memang beribu-ribu kali dia punya ratio dia kan. Tapi waktu itulah kita umat Islam seperti buih ya, boleh tengok terbang ambing ke sana ke sini dan kadang-kadang hilang. Dan uh, orang kata apa, uh, kerana apa? Kerana penyakit wahan. Apa dia wahan? Iaitu cinta dunia dan takutkan mati. Ini yang berlaku sebenarnya kepada umat Islam ke, uh, secara umumnya. Kita lihat bagaimana deal of the century. Ya? Uh, dalam deal of the century ini, akhirnya empat negara baru yang menormalisasikan uh, hubungan dengan Israel iaitu Bahrain, uh, UAE, uh, Morocco dan juga Sudan. Ya. Morocco sebenarnya. Ya, dengan harapan mereka kata untuk membela Palestin. Dia bila dia baik-baik dengan Israel, uh, mereka kata dengan harapan dia kata nanti uh, Palestin dapat dibantu dan kekurang, akan mengurangkan kebencian Yahudi kepada uh, umat Islam Palestin. Padahal tidak begitu. Sebab apa? Sehingga bukan setakat kita di lawan Nabi ingat yang Nabi Zakaria bagi dia sampai dia gergaji. Ha, Nabi Muhammad sampai nak dibunuh dibagi makan uh, daging dengan beracun. Jadi inilah jahat Yahudi atau Zionis lah kita lebih spesifik. Zionis ni satu bangsa yang tidak boleh dibuat damai. Berapa kali lah kita tengok perjanjian Oslo, perjanjian macam-macam perjanjian tidak pernah mereka nak uh, patuhi. Memang dia akan langgar. Sebab tu uh, dengan Yahudi ni ubat dia ialah seperti yang dibuat oleh Palestin ni itu dengan uh, jihad fisabilillah. Ya. Dan dari segi, uh, kita juga lihat dari segi uh, perhubungan antarabangsa tadi, inilah sepatutnya mereka membuka mata sempat, yang dikatakan tadi uh, memberi harapan untuk uh, membantu Malaysia sebenarnya lebih teruk. Kalau saya pergi tahun 2019, dua tahun lepas, kita berada di Gaza. Waktu itu perang selama tiga hari. Ya, tiga hari uh, dan mengorbankan 35 jiwa. Tapi hari ini, 2021, dua tahun berlalu, lebih teruk selepasnya selepas uh, normalization ni sehingga 251 jiwa telah syahid dan itu pun ada yang baru dijumpai beberapa lepas sampai 18 orang di bawah terowong dan uh, mungkin ada lagi yang akan dijumpai lagi nak semangat teruk dan bagaimana dulu kalau uh, bangunan tak berapa banyak musnah saya tengok depan mata saya itu pernah menggerunkan ya eh, bagaimana depan 50 meter depan saya ini ada dalam gambar di sini kalau tengok ha ah, ni depan kita punya, uh, peluru pandu, peluru pandu daripada Yahudi hmm. di depan kami. 
Itu pernah menggegarkan bangunan sehingga memecahkan tingkap, menurunkan silu dalam masa tiga hari. Ini bayangkan, sebelas hari. Sebelas hari ini bombat habis perangkat menggerakkan kali ini sehingga enam belas ribu rumah. Enam belas ribu ni kalau nak kira, oh banyak. Ha, so, dan seratus dua puluh dua ribu telah kehilangan tempat tinggal. Ya? Ini nak kata dasyatnya. Sebab itu kita kena desak balik supaya orang negara Islam kembalilah ke pangkal jalan. Ya? Supaya mereka lihat bahawa Yahud Zionis memang musuh. Bukannya boleh dibuat kawan. Kecuali Yahudi memang dia ada yang uh, bangsa Yahudi ni ada juga yang baik. Walau, uh, kan? Sebab saya pernah dulu tinggal di United Kingdom. Jiran saya itu Yahudi. Tapi mereka kita boleh buat kawan. Ha, ya, okay. Dengan turut kartu. Ha, ya, ya. Dia ada kumpulannya. Kena kita lihat dari saiz uh, Palestin ni. Kalau tengok daripada tahun uh, 1947, sebelum tahun 1947, keluasan Palestin adalah 27,000 km persegi. Dan tahun 47 telah menjadi hub, kurang daripada separuh. Itu 44% only. Dan dikurangkan daripada 1947, uh, sepas, 48 tu ialah uh, Nakbah, katastrofi yang mana uh, Israel telah, negara Arab Israel telah ditubuhkan. Dan tahun 67, berkurang lagi, diambil lagi prefer Naksah yang mana negara Arab telah uh, kalah dalam perang 6 hari. Uh, walaupun bersatu da- uh, dari segi negara uh, Jordan, uh, Mesir, uh, Syria, uh, kemudian uh, Lebanon dan ada juga bantuan daripada Pakistan dan umpamanya tapi mereka dimalukan ataupun kerana kerana mana? Kerana mereka tidak pegang pada Islam. Ada tentera yang minum arak dan semua. Bila mereka tidak pegang pada Islam inilah akibat dia. Dan pada itu telah menjadi 22% uh, negara asal Palestin. Dan hari ini selepas uh, uh, apa nama ni uh, deal of the century hanya tinggal 16% iaitu keluasan lebih kurang dalam uh, uh, 6,000 km persegi dibanding dengan asal tadi 27,000 km. Ini dah berlaku. Uh, dan dari segi pertolongan ni subhanallah ya, kalau rakyat Malaysia ni ada dalam 40 juta atau katalah muslim mungkin kan saya 25 juta sampai hmm. kalau lah tiap-tiap hari boleh contribute seorang singgit lah hmm. untuk sebulan. Hmm. Bayangkan 30 kali 25 kita akan dapat lebih dekat kat 100 juta. Uh, ini yang kita perlu lakukan. Itu kita kita beri bantuan dan Uh, saya uh, David Mr. Kamisha dah daripada, daripada tahun 2008 sehingga tahun sekarang ni dah 13 tahun kita memberi bantuan kepada Palestin dan alhamdulillah hari ini bersejarah juga lah bagi kami ataupun dalam uh, peperangan yang baru ni sebenarnya menyatukan uh, umat Islam yang mana walaupun berbeza dari fahaman politik tetapi untuk melawan Yahudi ni, melawan Zionis ni kita bersatu walaupun berbagai politik tapi dapat sama-sama meng, meng, menghulurkan bantuan kepada Palestin. dan satu kerjasama yang baik ni dengan PPM subhanallah is a very uh, great uh, unity ataupun dipanggil uh, sinergi ya. Eh? Sinergi antara dua kumpulan yang sebelum ni uh, tak pernah jumpa dan Alhamdulillah sebab tu COVID-19 pun kita dah mulakan kerjasama dan bentuk bantuan kepada mangsa-mangsa COVID dan juga mangsa uh, banjir kalau saya di dalam negara dan sebenarnya kita extend kita punya uh, long term relation dengan kita membantu Gaza pula. Dan kalau tengok tadi bagaimana Abu Aish ialah Ketua Abu uh, Muslim Kamil Malaysia Palestin iaitu pengurusi Muslim Kamil Malaysia Palestin di Gaza dan subhanallah kita ada pendapat di sana dan kita menyalurkan bantuan terus ya. Setiap hari ya kalau perang tu perang tu berlaku hari ketiga tu kita dah mulakan bantuan sehingga hari ini sehingga malam tadi subhanallah yang disebut tadi walaupun sampai malam hari mereka menyampaikan bantuan. Jadi uh, okay, bantuan-bantuan ni banyak benda lah ada yang untuk jangka pendek dan jangka panjang. So jangka pendeknya macam uh, makanan ataupun tempat tinggal. Tempat tinggal ni bayangkan kita waktu COVID ni Waktu COVID, kita terpaksa tinggal di rumah masing-masing. Okey. Mereka nak tinggal macam mana? Rumah tak ada. Rumah tak ada. Sebab apa berlaku? Mereka terpaksa tinggal besar-sesak pula dengan uh, saudara mara mereka. Ha, jadi, ini juga akan uh, memungkinkan juga untuk penyebaran COVID juga. Jadi, maksudnya dahlah mereka ditekan dengan peperangan, dengan kesusahan. Dengan COVID lagi satu ujian yang amat berat bagi mereka. Sebab tu, untuk immediate measure ni, kita kena carikan mereka rumah-rumah sewa. So kita pernah estimate kan, mungkin dalam sebulan dalam 150 rumah yang 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 orang kata kecil lah. $150 dolar per month dan kita mungkin akan sediakan untuk 6 bulan. So lebih kurang $900 dolar for each family. So bayangkan kalau kita nak cover semua mungkin kita tak mampu lah. So Allah pun tak akan uh, question kita punya kalau kekuatan kita tahap itu, itulah yang kita mampu buat. Kalau daripada RM16,000 ni uh, rumah yang hilang, mungkin kita boleh cover mungkin RM2,000, RM3,000. Ya? Tapi itulah orang kita usaha yang kita wajib lakukan. Kenapa apa bila Allah tanya di akhirat ini, kurang-kurang kita ada jawapan. Ha? Inilah usaha aku untuk membantu mereka. Dan selain daripada yang jangka panjang ni, kita jangka pendek ni, jangka panjang juga kita waktu panjang bantu dari segi uh, contohnya pendidikan. Bagaimana tadi uh, Abu Aisni berkata sekolah-sekolah dah banyak musnah dan juga pusat-pusat ibadat juga uh, kalau tak saya ada dalam enam. Enam yang roboh habis uh, masjid. Kemudian 
uh, kita pun ada dua masjid sebenarnya di, di Gaza ni itu Masjid Muhammad Al-Amin dan Masjid uh, Al-Bayan Muslim Camp Malaysia dan satu ni uh, uh, tak kira Allah kena misal juga tapi tak tak cedera tak cedera juga tak maksudnya uh, kerosakan Kerosak. yang minimum lah uh, Alhamdulillah dan sebab Allah masih lindungi mereka lindungi masjid kita dan juga kita ada beberapa benda lain di sana itu kita buat bina jalan raya kita buat pusat pemulihan kepada uh, orang-orang yang terkesan akibat peperangan itu orang yang pekak yang bisu yang uh, bukan bisu apa ni buta kemudian yang cacat yang habis kena potong kaki dan kita buat pusat pemulihan dan tidak lupa juga kita buat uh, pusat-pusat tafiz Quran kemudian juga kita uh, membina makmal komputer dan supamanya sebab itu kerjasama ni uh, perlu dan dan perlu diperkemaskan lagi dan bukan setakat dengan pihak mungkin lagi ni ada satu one nation dan supamanya kita akan berkembang dan kita juga ada coalition uh, satu coalition ni itu uh, Aid for Palestine uh, kita juga dah bergerak dengan Aid for Palestine dah menggerakkan bantuan dan insyaAllah melalui Abu Ais ni bantuan tu akan sampai uh, dan disebut tadi bahawa 100% yang kita terima 100% yang kita akan hantar ke Gaza itu jaminan kita dan uh, semuanya akan di audit eh. kita ada audit dalaman dan audit dalaman daripada uh, akaunten bertolak Malaysia dari persatuan akaunten bertolak dan lain-lain uh, syarikat yang uh, berlesen di Malaysia uh, itu antara yang kita buat dan harap-harap uh, benda ini akan terus bersambung dan kita juga mengharapkan agar uh, kerajaan Malaysia juga memberikan kita satu ruang untuk kita bergerak mas sendiri membawa masuk ke Gaza eh? barang-barang yang kita nak bawa selain daripada kita hantar melalui transfer atau apa melalui kita juga ingin membawa barangan tu masuk sendiri ke Gaza kita telah lakukan pada tahun 2019 selama uh, bersama 41 uh, lebih kurang ada dua, uh, 10 NGO dari seluruh dunia ada daripada UK, daripada US, daripada Malaysia kita uh, rombongan 41 orang kita bawa 20 ambulan daripada Mesir uh, ke Gaza dan insyaAllah kita harap benda itu akan berulang dengan uh, itulah tadi support daripada Malaysia Government uh, dari segi political support sebab Mesir ni Allah sedih saya ya mereka ni sepatutnya mereka lah yang membela umat Islam tetapi kerana hubungan mereka terlalu akrab dengan Zionis jadi sebaliknya mereka tutup sempadan mereka tidak benarkan uh, terung-terung dulu terung-terung ni bukan apa bukan nak uh, bawa senjata apa nak nak bawa masuk kambing nak bawa masuk susu nak bawa masuk ayam nak hidup je subhanallah sekarang dah ditutup Memang itulah kata penjara terbesar di dunia. 40 km ke 8 km. Tahun 2009 tu, kita punya pengat. Saya dah alam dah, dah lima kali memasuki Gaza. Tiap kali nak pergi ni, kalau kita sebenarnya kalau naik bas lah ataupun naik kereta daripada Cairo ke Rafah tu, dalam kata lah 3-4 jam lah kata 4 jam. Demos 4 jam. Tapi disebabkan sekatannya dengan di, di, di apa di selongkar yang kita punya barang dengan punya pakaian, mengenai masa hampir, uh, hampir sehari. Itu kita. Tapi saya tengok depan mata. Bagaimana orang Palestin? Ha, dia orang cerita seminggu. Dari seminggu dan seminggu. Tiap-tiap poin tu kena duduk, tidur tepi jalan. Kemudian, dah lah tandas tak ada. Bayangkan. Ha? Memang azab lah nak pergi, nak pergi keluar masuk ke Gaza ni kalau orang Palestin. Kereta mereka ni diumpil. Diumpil. Dia punya tepi-tepi pintu tu dia, dia kata takut ada senjata. Lepas tu takut ada bom dan semuanya. Tayar-tayar kena buka. Itulah dia yang berlaku. Jadi sebab tu kena beri tekanan kepada uh, Mesir supaya mereka membuka uh, sempadan dan ini semua boleh dibuat uh, dengan diplomatik uh, relation lah eh. uh, dan bila sampai tu tapi bila kita masuk sampai ke Gaza ni subhanallah berbeza dunia ni maksudnya Mesir ni dengan kotor ni <laughs> sorry eh tak maaf eh Mesir dengan berhabuknya dengan hmm. kalau tandas masuk kadang-kadang biarlah tak apa kita tangguh lah kita punya <laughs> apa nak buah hajat ni esok apa malam ni pun tak apa maksudnya sampai macam tu Tapi bila masuk lah subhanallah, you can see a different set of environment bila you tengok dalam Gaza ni walaupun dengan uh, batu-batu yang ber, apa, berdek puing-puing batu yang apa, terunduan bangunan, you tengok dia punya rumah, dia punya subhanallah bersih, kemas. So ini kualiti yang ada pada orang Palestin. Ha, dari segi kebersihan, dari segi Quran. Ya kalau tengok di di Gaza ni, um, ada walaupun 2 juta menurut, ada 600 pusat Quran. Ha, apa itu Quran? Ha, 600. So it's a very um, orang kata Islamic yes 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 ha banding negara Islam. Ya ya 2 2 juta penduduk 600 pusat tapi subhanallah. Ha nak katanya uh, hebatnya kan dan uh, mungkin saya cerita sikit ni cerita eh. Tahun uh, sebelum tahun 2000 saya pernah pergi juga uh, 
pada bulan Ramadan uh, cerita dia saya kita tinggal di satu uh, flat lah ya yeah. flat malam tu malam tadi kita nak tak kita nak tarawih kat ni hmm. tarawih kita pergi ke uh, nak keluar ni tengok naik lift boleh berhenti lift rosak ha sebenarnya itu kita rasa macam pelik kan padahal kat sana itulah yes. kehidupan harian mereka maksudnya elektrik selalu tak ada elektrik pakai genset dia bukan ada macam kita ada TNB dan semua tak ada sebab apa Israel kena kasihan dan sebagainya jadi bila keluar melang kita tunggu-tunggu dekat setengah jam ah, tak adakah hampir betul setengah jam kita akhirnya merangkak entah mana terbuka kita merangkak keluar berjaya puluh-puluh badan besar kita tekat tekat juga pergi masjid masjid itu dalam uh, tak berapa jauh itu kita duduk belakanglah adalah kita dengan suara imam ni imam dah sementara subhanallah very sweet voice hafiz hafiz Quran tu bila habis uh, habis uh, tarawih tu kita pun eh, jom kita jumpa imam lah sedap suara you know who is the imam Sheikh Ismail Hania he is the chief ataupun masa tu ialah the prime minister of of the Palestine oh, sure. uh, so masa tu nak katanya the quality that they has sebab itulah mereka ni kuat dalam uh, melawan dan saya cerita kat ni cerita cerita juga i have to say how amanah dia ah yes, abu ayes we always try to give him uh, this for you uh, you just no no I, i i will not take any money he said dia tak kami untuk uh, diri oh, dia, dia yes yes he said semuanya diinfakkan okay. no if you don't take i don't want to be friend you okay i will take oh, but i will give dia. to the palestinian fund masyaallah Uh, so this kind of quality that he has. So many Palestinians that they don't, they are ashamed to, you know, ask for the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, so that's why I said it's very trusted one. The organization we deal is trusted one. And since 2008 until now, we that's why I said earlier we build mosques, we build road, we build uh, all these things, and it's there. So how come if you say the the the, the donation doesn't have, how come the the mosque is built? How come the bakery is built? How come yeah. the the school is built. Uh, so ini kan katakan bahawa uh, benda sampai sini insyaallah. Toki. Okay. Uh, Toki. Okay. Kita dah ada kawan yang uh, boleh dipercayai yang boleh membawa segala bantuan kita direct masuk uh, ke dalam uh, uh, apa Gaza ataupun tebing barat untuk membantu rakan-rakan dan sahabat kita di sana dekat depan mata kita ya depan mata kita kita dah dapat assurance kita boleh lakukan sesuatu untuk membantu Uh, saudara-saudara kita dalam kempen saudara ku Palestin ni apa suruhan Tok Kee kepada rakyat kita apa lagi yang kita boleh buat uh, nombor satu saya rasa lah antara yang paling penting uh, kita membuka mata pasal sebenarnya suka tidak suka ramai juga orang kita orang Islam sendiri pun yang mungkin tak faham tak kisah ataupun um, yang lemah lah jadi dia apa-apa pun bermula daripada hati jadi kalau boleh kita nak sedarkan orang kita ini supaya faham pasal macam saya cakap tadi ramai juga orang kita dan sudah tentu orang bukan Islam lagi dah tak faham pasal kita perlu memahamkan contohnya saya pergi ke rumah kita pergi ambil uh, kereta orang kita ambil rumah orang itu tidak tidak kisah orang Islam. Orang bukan Islam pun uh, mempunyai kefahaman uh, yang sama berkaitan dengan kemanusiaan. Jadi kita perlu sokongan semua. Pasal orang kata ah, aku tak ada tak aku tak tak kadang-kadang aku tidak lagi bukan musuh tapi aku tidak bantu. Jadi dia kena ke arah bukan setakat um, bantu, dia ke arah mem, uh, menguatkan jati diri kita terhadap kefahaman membela kebenaran. Pasal kalau tidak kita tak kisah. Yeah. Contohnya kita tidak ada uh, cerita yang macam ni mungkin tak banyak pasal dia kata pasal Yahudi kata itu tanah dia orang. Jadi dia orang kata ah lah tak pilah. Dia pun tak kisah benda. Jadi kesedaran itu perlu ada di, di kalangan kita. Kadang-kadang ada yang orang Islam dia dia tidak uh, apa ni bukan pasal kefahaman pasal Islam baguslah. Tapi perlu juga yang difahami. Contohnya siapa manusia yang um, tak sokong, mereka bukan manusia. Pasal ini adalah isu kemanusiaan. Jadi ini yang saya rasa kena kena diperjelaskan dengan sebaik mungkin. Hmm. Video kena keluar contohnya gambar orang rampas kereta. Hmm. 
hmm. orang bunuh orang, orang rompak orang. Jadi lepas saja, Yahudi lepas saja. Ha, jadi ini yang perlu di uh, disedarkan. Mana kita kena buat effort untuk mereka sedar dan faham. Kalau kita sedar dan faham, kita boleh pergi jauh. Tapi saya nak tanya sikit ya. Eh. Hmm. Tadi Bahrain, UAE, Morocco lagi siapa lagi? Mesir? Sudan. Ha? Sudan. Sudan. Ya. Yeah. Yang ini yang negara-negara yang neutralize ke atau benda ni? Ha, normalize. Normalize. Ha. Maksudnya buat uh, hubungan diplomatik dan dibenarkan yang, uh, masuk okay, buat yang, yang negara yang uh, yang dahsyat daripada normalize ada ke? Uh, yang kawan baik sangat. Yang baik sangat dengan Yahudi. Saudi pun baik. Ha, betul. Tapi cuma dia dia dari segi uh, formal tu tak, formal relation tu tak, tak declare lah. Dia, eh, maksudnya belakang-belakang dia, dia, dia Okey, bukan apa. Pasal kita pun elok juga kita redah macam ni. Ha. Biar dia malu. Ha. Pasal kita kena keluarkan ha. kali ni. Pasal kita tak tahu rakyat dia pun kena tak tahu. Betul. Jadi kalau boleh kita nak apa ni senarai negara-negara ha. atau mungkin tokoh-tokoh tertentu ha. yang uh, memang di sebelah sana. Baru ni saya dengar apa ada satu di mana ke Kuwait ke mana yang ada seorang mufti kata uh, tak patut uh, uh, Palestin tak patut uh, apa ni Kuwait ke mana tak ingat lah ha. yang tak, tak tak patut buat 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 huru hara ha. jadi dia orang tak tentu ada kepentingan yeah. tapi kepentingan di mana-mana ha. macam tu Allah. di dunia ni orang yang tak tak apa ni tidak hmm. uh, uh, jujur dan uh, berkepentingan dia akan begitulah. Ha, jadi dia, dia, dia kalau Amerika kata uh, Israel buat ni untuk pertahanan diri. Ha. Mana pula penjajah ya, boleh pertahanan diri dia tu menjajah. Dia, dia merampas semua macam tu. Ha. Jadi contohnya Australia pun macam tu. Ha. Uh, apa ni UK pun macam tu. Jadi kita kena ubah picture betul, tu betul. kepada aspek kemanusiaan. Pasal betul. kemanusiaan ni tak boleh nafi pasal agama angkau agama lain. Kemanusiaan hmm, hmm. adalah satu. Jadi Betul. kita kena melihat angle tu lah. Yalah, kalau dia contoh basic, rumah kita orang masuk, masuk ha, ambil lah lah barang, kita. ambil rumah kita. Ha, ambil rumah kita so, lah. Akhirnya orang tu bunuh kita. Sebab hmm. apa dia nak pertahankan diri? Ya, ya. <coughs> Baik, uh, Tuan Haji. Uh, kerjasama PPIM menerusi sumbangan.com ini, hmm. dia lihat satu sinergi yang sangat baik. You know, bagaimana kita menggunakan uh, platform kita tu untuk menyuruh seluruh rakyat sekaliannya hmm. untuk sama-sama kita membantu uh, saudara kita di Palestin ini. Hmm. So, uh, berapa uh, sumbangan awal yang uh, Tuan Haji expect untuk kita kumpulkan dalam uh, saudara ku Palestin ini? Okay, dalam saudara ku Palestin ini, target, uh, first target kita RM250,000. Alhamdulillah, kita dah lebih daripada RM50,000 dah capai. Alhamdulillah, tanya kepada sumbangan.com, tanya kepada PIM yang membuat kerja yang yang mulia, yang murni ni mudah-mudahan sebagai satu sedekah jariah kita lah ataupun uh, harta kita untuk kita bawa di dalam alam barzah nanti dan untuk overall sebenarnya kita kalau nak kira Palestin kalau tak kira kalau nak kira dia punya rumah kejap memang satu bilion pun tak cukup ya, ya. Ha, tapi itulah kata untuk target keseluruhan untuk kita fasa ni kita sebenarnya campur-campur semua 5 juta lah kita nakkan benda tu untuk kita bangunkan ataupun sebahagian daripada uh, sektor-sektor penting antara tadi adalah welfare tadi, kebajikan, kemudian uh, kesihatan dan ini kita perlu sebab ubat-ubat pun memang kalau saya pergi dulu dia punya rak banyak uh, tapi dia punya ubat tu dia satu dua rak eh. rak dia mungkin ada seratus rak tapi yang kosong ah, uh, yang kosong kemudian uh, dari segi uh, apa nama ni uh, pendidikan, pendidikan kalau tengok banyak sekolah yang dimusnahkan oleh oleh tentera Zionis ni. Jadi kita perlu juga bangunkan balik dia punya sekolah-sekolah. Uh, dan yang yang rosak sepenuhnya dan juga yang rosak sebahagian. Uh, dan yang welfare ni memang berterusan sebab daripada 2 juta penduduk Gaza, 80% adalah miskin. So maksudnya 1.6 juta tu miskin yang boleh hidup sini 400 ribu je. So kalau kita nak bantu 1.6 juta ni bayangkan. Uh, juta, tapi Maksudnya kita cubalah macam mana kalau kita dapat Okay first target insyaAllah 2 tahun dulu dan kita move to the second target lah InsyaAllah ah, kita, kita cuba lah ya, Itu betul. kita minta rakyat ah. Malaysia <laughs> semua sekali betul. Ambil kesempatan ini ya. Betul Jadi uh, itulah kita Saya uh, di sini ni Saya lihat uh, kita kena bersungguh-sungguh hmm, hmm. Membetulkan hati Subhanallah yes. Itu yang paling penting betul, betul, betul. Betulkan hati semua rakyat kita Kalau hati tu dah betul dia tidak ada masalah Okay orang tanya 
dekat Malaysia ni pun ramai orang susah buat apa nak tolong orang Palestin orang tanya ni cerita hati ni dah lah inilah dia sebab tu dah cerita hati tu kena betul ya yeah. maknanya orang susah uh, di mana mata pada orang susah tapi susah dalam keadaan macam mana dalam yeah. jihad ke mm-hmm. susah dalam uh, tak kaya, hmm. tak buat apa-apa pun hmm. ramai juga. Hmm. Jadi kita nak uh, apa ni kebersamaan hmm. itu. Hmm. Uh, dan dan faham, kita nak bantu orang yang nak bantu diri. Hmm. Kalau orang yang tak nak bantu, kita pun tak boleh nak buat apa. Hmm. Uh, jadi kita kena kena uh, faham. Uh, baru ni kita ada juga buat, buat bantuan. Kita bantu orang Rohingya. Tak banyak pun untuk 100 family saja. Hmm. Pun jadi isu. Oh, pun jadi isu. Oh. Rakyat Malaysia ni dia kadang-kadang dia benak sikit. Hmm. Ha, dia benak dia tak faham. Oh ni tak orang Rohingya. Dia ada persepsi dia yang tak betul. Hmm. Pas, kita patutnya Islam aja kita Bantu. sokong. Hmm. Itu hmm. yang seharusnya. Betul-betul. Jadi uh, ini keadaan ini perlu dibetulkan. Betul. Jadi Betul. itu yang balik tadi kepada hati. Hmm, hati. Ha, kalau hati tu betul, dia insya Allah Allah beri ruang kepada kita. Betul. Ya? Okey Tuan Haji, hmm. sekali lagi saya nak ulang ni. Hmm. Ada banyak aduan-aduan berkenaan dengan scam-scam Palestin. Hmm. Kalau dalam kepenggunaan ni kita tengok macam-macam lah scam-scam yang ada. Hmm. Ini scam-scam Palestin ni banyak. Hmm. Apa garanti yang kita boleh beri pada pengguna sekalian, pada penyumbang sekalian bahawa kita ni adalah genuine dan apa benda yang kita telah capai dalam program kita ni. Okey, subhanallah eh. Kita punya sumbangan uh, saya kat pun kita dah gerakkan semua dengan PPM ni. Uh, satu, kita telah dapat pengiktirafan daripada pemimpin tertinggi Palestin itu Sheikh Ismail Haniah dalam bentuk uh, video eh, saya boleh share uh, tentang pengakuan saya eh, tentang sumbangan kita. Nanti ya? kita boleh share dalam boleh, komen ya. tu nanti insya-Allah. Ya, ya, ya. Share okay. satu. Kemudian yang kedua dari segi bertulis kita alhamdulillah dua hari lepas kita hmm. mendapat uh, surat pengiktirafan daripada uh, timbalan menteri wakaf uh, what is his name ya wakaf uh, minister dia di doktor abdul hadi ah doktor abdul hadi abdul hadi abdul hadi said that your donation reach us and thank you very much for your support yeah. and hope that we can cooperate further so it seems that it's a very official one from the government okay this is from the government and uh, from the Abu Vision, you see that that's now the Abu Aish. Mm. He is our representative or our chairman in Palestine. Yeah. We have an office there. We have uh, a facility. We have a store storage there. And then uh, you can see in our uh, uh, Facebook, in our uh, uh, Instagram, our daily delivery of aid to the people in Palestine. Oh, ha. so insyaallah memang sampai think, confirm. Yes, yes, sampai confirm. Masya Allah, masya Allah. So benda ni memang uh, alhamdulillah semua di uh, di uh, orang Palestin dan saya pun tak tahu mungkin ada satu dua lah yang yang mungkin juga tu ha. boleh bagi. Ha. Um, senarai-senarai contohnya senarai pembelot. Ha. Senarai penipu. Ha. Tadi Abu Ali saya dah cerita. Ha. 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 jadi mungkin pasal bagi pada kita lah. pun pada kita. Ha. Okay. rahsia ya ha. nanti kita kita cerita. We will give you later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Sebab I, I, saya tengok ada seorang tu dia bagi mesej. Dia kata dia bagi sumbangan, dia minta donation. Dia kata nak bagi sumbangan kat Laksa. Dia kata saya dah bagi sumbangan kat Laksa. Dia tunjuk gambar apa? Dia tunjuk gambar masjid. Lepas tu dia buat gambar sekeping macam ni kata. Macam check. Kita kata sumba, sumbangan daripada persatuan dia kepada Laksa. Dia pegang. Maksudnya memang gambar fake. Masjid kubah Laksa dia bubuh uh, ketam gitu. Jadi ini ada yang dan ada juga yang recently ada satu organisasi dia letakkan 20 NGO antara Muslim Care salah satu lah benda lain dengan uh, Iman Care dengan apa sahabat kita daripada MAPI daripada Dia Jalan letak Amat. semua orang ah, lah Ada 20 NGO Dia kata dia kutip on behalf all these 20 NGO oh, sure. Masuk account dia Ah, ha, so Itu yang kita kena kenal tu Betul so that I can tell you after this So, so apa dia buat dia kata dia nak bagi every NGO RM5,000 dia kata So <laughs> tak padan tak, sebab we're doing first this Palestine Uh, isu memang orang ramai akan bagi semua. Kita nak beritahu kita cepat. Kita tidak orang okay, okay. kita bagi juga. Okay, okay. Baru ni ada semalam sepuluh uh, ada hmm. daripada Ampang kat dia bagi cek seluruh ribu ke cash kat siapa tadi cash kot. Ada geng-geng kita juga tu. Oh, kata, oh ah, ya, ya, ada ada. Uh, 11,000 yes. Uh, 11,000. Uh, PV8. PV8 uh, Taman yeah, Melati. Subhanallah. Yeah, yeah. Give cash. Uh. Sahabat-sahabat kita. Oh ya. Yeah, Subhanallah. It's very good. I think PPM Malaysia Mekah insya Allah very trusted one shot. Okey sebagai penutup nak hmm. cerita tentang solidariti kita untuk menangani seluruh isu ni. 
Okey, uh, kalau nak katakan kat, orang yang bersatu adalah orang yang uh, tertekan. Maknanya dia bersatu. Tapi kadang-kadang kita tengok dalam konteks kita ni yang tak ter, yang tertekan pun tak bersatu. Jadi kita tak kita ni tak ada apa kuasa. Kuasa tu datang daripada Allah. Allah segala-galanya. Kita nak nak pengaruh anak atau keluarga kita pun belum tentu. Betul. Jadi kita kena doa balik pada Allah supaya membuka pintu-pintu hati inilah. Itu yang nombor satu ya. Jadi dan yang itu juga kita kena balik kepada kefahaman untuk kita bekerjasama. Uh, contohnya uh, taatlah pada Allah dan, dan Rasul kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, dan janganlah kamu ber, uh, berselisih kerana ia akan uh, melemahkan kamu dan um, uh, kamu akan hilang kekuatan. Ini ayat-ayat yang kita perlu tanam dalam hati kita. Pasal kalau kita tengok musuh-musuh Islam dia bersatu. Mm-hmm. Kalau tidak bersatu pun dia kena tipu. Contohnya rakyat mereka. Rakyat mereka kena tipu daripada dulu. Betul. Tapi atas kebijaksanaan penipu-penipu ini. Jadi kita kena kena faham. Kita kena uh, kena gunakan apa yang ada di tangan kita ya. daripada apa yang kita lihat tekanan terhadap orang Islam ini untuk membawa kesedaran ini. Betul. Maknanya setiap kita kena anggap setiap orang Islam ya. dia harus balik kepada pangkal jalan. Ambil ayat tu cikgu. Ya. Jadikan kita macam contoh di sini. Maknanya kita kena ada kesatuan. Yang paling penting bila ada satu Allah beri keberkatan. Itu yang kita nak. Kalau tak, kalau tak berkat, kaya pun tak guna. Jadi kalau berkat, sikit pun lebih. Jadi itulah kita maknanya. Kita kena ajak anak-anak, keluarga-keluarga kita supaya faham, supaya diletakkan um, apa tu semangat dan kesedaran. Itu yang paling penting. Setuju. Ya. Yeah. Okey, terima kasih bagi pihak Muslim Care, bagi pihak Satuan Pengguna Islam Malaysia, bagi pihak sumbangan.com. Kami mengucapkan jutaan terima kasih kepada anda sekalian kerana Bagi mengikuti program kita hmm? pada hari ini. Dan ingat, seandainya Bagi anda ingin saya. menyumbang Yang dan anda was-was dengan tak sumbangan tak anda, silalah ke sumbangan.com kerana di sana kita memberi anda satu jaminan bahawasanya sumbangan-sumbangan anda itu mengalir kepada tempat-tempat yang anda niatkan insya Allah sedaya upaya seboleh-bolehnya anda boleh Uh, anda boleh pilih ya, boleh pilih tengok sumbangan jenis Bila mana yang dekat dengan dia hati Sebenarnya. dan kami akan pastikan sumbangan itu terus oh. pergi kepada tempat-tempat ke, atau kepada Ayuh, penama-penama Ayuh, atau kepada mereka Ayuh. yang anda telah niatkan. InsyaAllah, jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam bagi asam ceria. Jumpa lagi. Terima kasih. Terima kasih.